so yeah, I'm Rin. Um, I'll be running this game. Uh, and I will be running Will of the Wisps afterwards. I will be accompanied and commentary by Moose right here. Hello, Moose. Hello. So, how are you doing, Moose? I'm chilling. I just got out of bed, ready for this run. That's perfect. I am chilling as well. <laughs> so, you gotta stop screen share. <laughs> I forgot again. Don't worry. There it is. Okay. Thank you. So, if everybody's ready, I think we can start? Question mark? Uh, we can probably explain uh, the game as we go through the beginning of the run because there's not a lot going on. So yeah. So the run's timing is going to start when we uh, select our file. Uh, we run on normal difficulty for reasons that I'll develop later and that's going to be in 3, 2, 1, start. So after we skip the prologue uh, one second late, of course, uh, we spawn in here uh, inside of Sunken Glades while I do a color code that changes the color of Ori to a random color. Um, it's actually built inside the game, this is not a mod. And the first thing you're going to notice is that we run this game with the user interface off. This allows us to skip most of the dialogue that's in the game as well as some text boxes that show up, like uh, this one that's coming up right here, when I pick up this energy cell. Uh, I'm supposed to have a text box showing up, and UI off skips that. And we're well on our way after we get a good luck headbutt by our friend the Rhino to get signed the first ability of the game. So this is going to be all skills, no out of bounds uh, TA. Uh, TA stands for teleport anywhere. It's a glitch that completely broke the game open. But we're not going to be doing it. So we just got signed our first ability. It allows us to attack enemies like this. Uh, you can see kind of me kind of pacing my shots. Uh, we are allowed to use crawling bindings as well in this game. So I don't actually mash for all the, um, uh, I mean, for all the sign shots that you see. And the next thing we're gonna get is the first skill tree of the game. There's a total of nine skill tree in the game, plus one extra ability that we get another way. And because, uh, wait. Hold on, English is hard. Okay, uh, because of that, uh, we're gonna need to go through the entirety of Sunken Glades. Uh, it's kind of an annoying area, there's quite a bit of RNG with those pickups, and we also have to manage our EXP routing because routing is really important in this game. There are some level ups that we need to do, some because they're convenient, and some others because they are necessary to complete the run. And we don't have really much time to breathe because there's the first glitch coming up. Um, so I'm going to die here in the water while the keystones are into the door, and this unloads the door for a bit. This is called the ghost door. And whoops. We're gonna head to the wall jump tree right here, just taking a little detour to get this piece of cabbage that's gonna give me one extra life cell. Piece of cabbage. <laughs> what it is. Yep. It is in fact a piece of cabbage. <laughs> Another little detour to pick up this keystone. We're not going to use it uh, very soon, but it's going to be really useful for later in the run. All right, how's the XP looking? Pretty good. Uh, so there's a time level up coming up. When you level up, Ori creates a shockwave around him, and that pretty much destroys everything that, it's in, that is in this way. Uh, we're going to use it later to destroy those rambles right here. But for now, we're just gonna head down to wall jump. GP a bit skip there, by the way. Might yeah. Have noticed. That's a pretty precise jump right there. That Rin landed first try. I'm just that good. What can I say? <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> so yeah, now we have wall jump. Um, you might notice that I'm running the game in German. This is not any faster. I just had to pick a language, so I just kind of did. <laughs> <laughs> Why not German? Yeah, why not? I guess. <laughs> so, 
So we just use our wall jump ability to pick up this energy cell, and now we're gonna head not to the left, but to the right. Uh, normally the game expects us to go... Here's the, the time level up, by the way. Uh, saves like 5 seconds. So the game expects us to pick up another keystone and open another door to go see the spirit tree. Uh, like, that's supposed to be to the left right here, but we're not gonna do that, because we don't really need keystones. Uh, we have basically infinite anyway. And the second reason is that we're not gonna open this door yet, because there is a very important ability that we have to get. And that ability happens to be at the like near where Ori spawned at the beginning of the run. This ability is only uh, a part of the definitive edition. Yes, uh, and it's not required to finish the game, so a lot of people miss this in their casual playthrough, which is kind of disappointing, honestly, because it's such a cool ability. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, and it's very broken. Whoops. Yeah, if okay. you know how to use it right, it's definitely kind of broken. <laughs> yep. And upcoming is a cutscene skip. I'm gonna store this uh, skill tree menu and use it to spend a skill point. Whoops. Please. Okay. Nope. It's just me failing to turn on the UI at the right time. So we just spent a skill point inside this cutscene. That saved the game. And because we just saved inside a cutscene, the game considers it as having been played and it doesn't really bother playing it again. This is a really huge glitch. It saves like 10 minutes or something over the course of the run. It's actually impressive. Ah, dang, no frame perfect or grab. I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got the cycles correctly. So the point this of black really... bows... No, sorry, go ahead. This, really, this area is really cycle heavy and yeah. also pretty reset heavy because of that. It's pretty easy to to like make a small misstep here, miss a cycle, and end up losing like a good amount of time because of it. Um, yeah, those lasers especially are really annoying. Yeah, they can get in your way. What? Did what? I just drop the orb on the bounce pad? Okay, <laughs> I've never seen that. Before. <laughs> <laughs> Neither have I. This game is full of surprises, and we missed a cycle because of that. Not that I mind. <laughs> <laughs> It was funny, so it's fine. Yeah. But yeah, we're supposed to bring this orb um, all the way up. Uh, kill this slime, which absolutely doesn't do anything. And... We're waiting here to manipulate a cycle yep. in the next room. It might look kind of weird, but it's definitely intentional. Yeah, hopefully the slime here won't prevent us from getting the cycle, though. He's known for shooting us and knocking us backwards, making us miss the cycle. But that's ah, fine. Nice one. There we go. He's been kind today. No problems. Here's yeah, the cycle. Like uh, yeah. Very nice. So upcoming is another save anywhere um, glitches where we spend a skill point anywhere we want. Uh, the next one's not gonna be the same because we're not gonna skip the cutscene. Uh, the cutscene of this entire area, Blackwood Bros, lighting up. It's only gonna skip part of it, and. We're gonna use this to our advantage by stacking two cutscenes together. And Get some funny business because of it. <laughs> yeah, long story short, we can move out of the area blind. So that's the first part, you can see the cutscenes going on. Rekindle the save and reload, and slide off the ground a little bit, because Ori's a pro skater. True. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. There we go, we got the blind movement. Nice. Falling into this pit is, is pretty scary. Yeah. Uh, like if you fall into the pit, you have to reload a save, or you just like if you're not in a marathon, you're just gonna reset probably. Yeah, unless you can um, just know that you messed up and reload your save early enough. Whoops. Yeah. It's possible. Yeah. So as I mentioned, we're still not gonna go to the left. Uh, instead, we're gonna take our friend Billy to a walk. Because I mentioned level ups uh, were really interesting in this game. The second property of level ups is that they restore your health and energy. And we're going to use that to our advantage by um, leveling up of this front key right here. Of the right timing. Uh, let me see if I can get it. I got it. Nice. Hopefully we don't die to this death gauntlet right here. Because we can't safety save. I just died. That's rough. That's fine, we can just uh, take Billy down for a walk again. I'm sure he'll be happy. 
there's a reason why it's called the Death Gauntlet, and that's why. <laughs> yeah, we can and really put the... They're pretty specific. Yep. Uh, and if you mess up slightly, that will happen. And you can really put a safety save, because uh, we just spent all our energy to open this door. Uh, if we're lucky, we get the 10% energy drop from this guy, but... Uh, yeah, you can't really count on that. Yeah. Alright. Using some precise weights to manipulate his position. No, I was 1 EXP off. Really? Dang. Yeah, that can happen sometimes. That's fine, we can try again. I thought you were good on XP. Uh, I was on 17 and I got 16 EXP out of 19. Oh. Alright, <laughs> this slime's gonna like, take some collateral damage just in case. Usually you want to be uh, high on EXP, but um, if you're high on EXP, you can level up too early and not get the energy into the door. So yeah, long story short, this trick is annoying. Yeah, it's pretty reset heavy. Yeah, like the the sections before this gets kind of repetitive, like when you're running this uh, for PB or whatever, and it can get yeah. kind of frustrating with that. Uh, but after it, it's the run is so much fun. When you start zooming with double jump and. Other abilities we'll see later. There we go. Got it. Alright, play it safe this time. There we go. Nice. This strong king can be really scary. It really can. One last crusher over here, and there we go. Oops. So we have two HP, so this time isn't that big of a deal. And we can place a safety save down here. Before going for a really tight cycle, I cannot guarantee I will get that. Oh, whoops. Okay. Ooh, very, very close. Yeah, that was very close. <laughs> what happened to that energy drop? <laughs> so you can barely sneak into that cycle, which saves about 8 seconds. So yeah. That's pretty huge. Um, but also pretty difficult to get consistently. Yeah, you have to manipulate the crusher cycles in a very precise way. Another of those ghosts that I mentioned can barely sneak under that spider shot. And now we have... whoops. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I messed up my dash, that's fine. I guess that's a good... Uh... Good time to explain dash gliding. Yeah. <laughs> you just missed the dash glide. So yeah. If you like go neutral and jump at the end of a dash, you gain like you kind of jump further and you keep the momentum longer. I don't actually remember how it works. Uh, I think it has to do with the game not decelerating you properly when you're holding neutral. Yeah. It's really weird. Better. Some cool ninja jump jumping jump. off of those walls. It's actually slightly faster than just wall jumping. It also looks really cool. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> and it's also really hard. Sure. Actually, speaking of really hard, we have two really important skip coming up. Uh, the first one saves one minute. And the second one saves 0.1. <laughs> Shoutouts to the French community. <laughs> that was the baguette jump. <laughs> it's so silly. So what we just did here was skip this cutscene by rekindling inside of it. Uh, that prevents the rocks that are supposed to come down from actually spawning. And now Gumo didn't really like that. He's just kind of freezing in place. And he's not very lucky right now because the poor guy's going to get here forever. He's never going to get out. But thankfully he's just right here as well. So he can just give us water vein like he's supposed to. There are multiple chemos? Uh oh. <laughs> Apparently. What is this wall? Okay, thanks. So because we're going through Moon Grotto and Rivers, uh, this kind of stuff happens. And now he's free. You can see he's carrying the water vein that he just gave us, but you know, that's fine. Yep. Don't don't think too much about it. It's fine. Yeah. Oh well, Gandalf, yeah, no. let's see. No! Didn't get a chance to dash. Didn't want to let us pass. Yeah. So now that we have everything we need, we can go into Ginzo Tree. Uh, there's some really cool. Whoops. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
needs uh, a cyber speed backup right there. Yeah, needs a rekindle trick to get some speed uh, as a backup. Really tight cycle here. Uh, you might be expecting me to get the AC, but I'm too crazy for that, really. Yeah. Ren is just built different. Too crazy. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Okay, that's fine. So upcoming are three cutscene skips in a row. Two of them using uh, rekindles and saves anywhere, and the other, the last one using some really intricate trick called the game storage. Whoops, I did not save. Uh, that's fine, you can try again. There we go. Yeah, this looks really confusing if you don't, like, even if you know what's happening, honestly, it looks really weird. But it's fast, so we do it anyway. Yep, saves four seconds. Four seconds. So yeah, that was game storage. If you menu really fast, the game doesn't store some stuff properly and you can just kind of move during cutscenes. It's really weird. Uh, I'm not sure what causes it exactly. No one, I think, knows actually. <laughs> but yeah, it's fast. And here's Ginzo Tree, probably one of the most technical parts of the run. Uh, it's really annoying. This cycle uh, especially is annoying. Uh, I just want to give a quick shout out to Lucidus for teaching me top route right here. And upcoming is a puzzle that we're gonna take a death on, uh, right here. This is gonna reset the cycle in this room right here, allow us to get by slightly faster. I think it's like one second. It's not much, but it's still free time save, so we take it. And we have nothing to do, we just kinda wait. And I got the backflip glide. Let's go, this is like two frames. <laughs> All right, and now we're headed to this mini-boss. Uh, because we don't have Charge Flame, a skill that we're supposed to have picked up on our way to Genzo Tree, whoops, we are gonna kill this boss slightly slower than we would uh, because we only have Sign to help us. There we go. Uh, we have three HP, that's perfect. And we're kinda just uh, getting on our way to... whoops. Uh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, good, good save. <laughs> yeah, every, everything was planned, don't worry about it. <laughs> Just be careful right here. Yeah, I, I have a backup for when I get hit. Yeah. Another ghost door right here, off of those spikes. And we have probably one of the most iconic abilities in this game. So Bash basically allows us to uh, bounce off of stuff. Uh, stuff includes enemies, lanterns like this one, and projectiles. And this is going to be used and abused throughout the run. Uh, the ability essentially sends you in one direction and the thing you've bashed off of in the opposite direction. You think so? Um, sometimes anyway. Yeah. Unless you wanted to, uh, to do something like this. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah, so that's a, that's a double bash. It's a frame perfect trick, which essentially allows you to bash the same target twice. Uh, but because of how uh, liberal the Ori community is with the keybinds, um, you can bind you can bind bash to scroll wheel, which makes yep. it a lot more lenient. Um, also, I just duplicated those keystones. You know, no big deal. Yeah. <laughs> so if you if you die with the keystone still in the door. Uh, you keep the keystones and they still spawn back in the world, so you essentially keep them. Yep. And we'll use that to, to open a door later on without having to, to collect the keys that are intended. Yeah, after we defeat the final boss of Ginzo Tree. Because there is nothing after this, it's just a TP, right? Like, this is a dead end. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that uh, I didn't miss anything in here. Yeah, yeah, definitely no <laughs> huge epic escape or anything. No. Yeah, yeah. With the best music in the game, nope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, jokes aside, um, we are never going to complete Ginzo Tree. Uh, the waterless route, uh, as we call it, allows us to skip the entirety of Ginzo Escape, which is about 50 seconds of time save. And instead we're going to get into Thornfell Swamp another way. Also, this Gomo is now free. Go Gomo, go! Yes, you can do it, Gomo! Yes! <laughs> A little safety save before we meet our friend Ringo, also known as Saruman. The 
name Ringo will become apparent later. Don't worry about it. And Saruman might become apparent right now, actually. Yeah, we'll see. Oh. Oh, whoops. That was my bad. Let's see. Alright, we didn't get it. Sometimes he just makes a projectile face through this floor. I'm not sure why. It's really weird. Yeah, that skip right there is pretty huge and pretty yep. hard to learn when you're first learning the route, honestly. Yeah. Also, here's another hyperspeed. You know. And I would just want to show you once how powerful double bashing is. We can basically just not care about anything when we have a projectile. Fly. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Like, that's how powerful double bashing is. And now we have everything we need to get access to the left half of the map, because we just got Stomp. Um, kind of a ground pound from Super Mario Bros. Allows us to, uh, after a small wind up, to go down fast. And we're gonna come back and meet our good friend Ringo again. So I want everyone in the Ori community to prepare their dragon frogs. <laughs> Just plays a drum solo the entire time. Oh, watch out. Uh, oh, this is not all cells. <laughs> Wrong category, buddy. This is why you don't run two categories at the same time. Oh, whoops. Upcoming is a really important trick as well, but if I do it well, you won't notice anything. look kind of strange. Nice. Oh, nice. Very, very clean. So basically we can abuse the fact that uh, bashing something clips you on top of it and that allows us to kind of clip through a cutscene trigger. It is incredibly precise. It saves a good amount of time though. Yeah, 17 seconds it I has, believe. It has very good visual cues which allows it to be very consistent still. Yep. Also, we can kind of stomp these, because, you know, hitboxes yeah. funny. Hitboxes are funny. Alright, then we pick up Sea Flame, which is honestly kind of useless. It really is. But, but it's a Please. scale, so we had to pick it up. Uh, wait. Okay, there we go. Good. Yeah, my scroll <laughs> wheel sometimes is pretty stubborn, doesn't want the UI to uh, oh. enable itself. I probably just need to get a new mouse. Yeah. So the reason we started Save Anywhere here is because uh, we have a cutscene scene coming up. Uh, there we go. Uh, we can just dash light through, the game doesn't decelerate us. And we could do it without a Save Anywhere. I mean, like we could place another save, but this saves one energy. And energy roading from this point on is going to be really important. Because we're about to pick up one of the most powerful, actually probably the most powerful ability in this entire game, uh, Charge Dash. But before that, we have still a bit of platforming, going through Valley of the Wind, just kind of bashing our way up. I think one of my favorite points about this game is that uh, the movement is really uh, progressive. I'm not sure if you could call it that. Yeah. Like, it, it, the run kind of unfolds uh, as it goes on. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Come back. Wait. Oh. Please? Fine. No! Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, tr I tried my hardest. It was just before a safety <laughs> save as well. Oh, yeah. That's fine, you can just go through valley again. It's not a very long segment, and it's a fun segment too, yeah. So this thing right here is the sole reason why we need Stomp to access to the left side. We need it anyway for the category requirements, but uh, if we didn't have Stomp, we wouldn't have any way to enter the left side of the map. Well, you could. No out of bounds. <laughs> no out of, well, <laughs> could you not just bash for the Pronky like you do in Randomizer? Oh, true, I forgot about that. Well, you only have one intended way of getting there. There you <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble. <laughs> but coming up is a very uh, weird looking trick. So it's like you're supposed to go around here and stomp these rocks. Um, but that's slow. And there's a cutscene in the way. So we're just going to bash this projectile oh, at a very precise angle. I'm just going to reload. Oh. I messed up the movement. Yeah, let's try it again. Yeah. 
Okay, he's gonna bash this projectile at a very precise angle, then run away to despawn some terrain uh, in order for the projectile to actually get all the way over. And then pick up an ability cell at the like, very last second before the cutscene starts. Nice. Just like Got that. It. Which saves... I don't actually know. Uh, like 20, 25 seconds, I'm not sure. But we yeah. won't have much time to discuss any of that because there are two right. really important tricks coming up. Moose, if you can explain. Right, so there's there's a lot coming up here. Yep. So we have <laughs> now get access to charge dashes. Uh, and because the community allows for pretty liberal keybinding, we can do some funny stuff. Um, Safety save right here. As you'll see in a second here. So yeah, we can just kind of fly, no big deal. Yeah. And then right after that, we have Sorrow Bash. By manipulating and bashing these birds, we can actually get into Sorrow oh. way earlier than intended. Oh, whoops. Oh. I can just try again, it's no big deal. And this is a, a huge roadblock for a lot of new runners. Yeah, it's very difficult. When I was first learning this, this probably took me about an hour or two to get once. Only and one hour? Like somewhere around there. It's been a while. It might it might have been more. It took me like five. Oh Jesus. Uh wait, this isn't gonna oh, work out. So. No! Yeah, it's a very difficult trick. It is really difficult, yeah. And then right after it, because Rin is crazy, there's gonna be an even more difficult trick. Uh, it's not but that bad, don't worry. It's called Crazy Juggle for a reason, okay? Eh, uh, it's fine, don't worry. There we go, first try. Nice. Another rocket jump. Uh, energy here is on pretty high demand, because we need to do a lot of rocket jumps, which each costs one star dash, aka one energy. So I'm just gonna place a safety save down for this trick. Uh, rocket jump off of this frog to get him to break the ceiling, and yeah. Yeah. This is some really precise cancelling of the C dash in order to not do damage, but still get the momentum and the height. Um, no! Ooh. Okay, Did that's you... fine. There's a the backup. I think it's a three frame timing every time? Yeah, three frame timing. Like every, uh... every single C dash? If yeah. If you mess up one of them, it's over. Yeah, because you kill you the frog and he doesn't have enough HP. Yeah. So you either have to go for this backup frog. That was a bash bug, are you serious? Oh, that's unlucky. Yeah, bash is pretty buggy. Sometimes it just doesn't want to work, and it doesn't. All right. Yeah, this is one of the like routing things that only like the most crazy people can work. <laughs> nice. There we go. Clean. Yeah. It's like 15 three frames window, so yeah, I'm not surprised I didn't get it on the first try. It's really cool to show off though. Yeah, it's a really impressive trick. Funny enough, it doesn't even save time because of... It, it's not even like faster to do this compared to other routes, it just saves time because you don't have to use an ability cell. So we skipped an ability cell that a lot of people would normally get right before Ginso tree. Oh, menu bug. Nice. But we have to do that instead. So now we have Sunstone, uh, you can go ahead. Yeah. So we just picked up Sunstone, that will be useful later. Um, oh, I, I kind of forgot about C-Dash, but yeah, we're going to pick up pick up one of the... <laughs> probably one of the coolest abilities in the game, honestly. Yeah. A charge jump, which lets you charge a jump, uh, and like you jump higher, essentially. Yeah. And you can break some roofs and whatever with it. It also does insane damage, like, it, it's, it does 25 times the damage of one sign shot. It's Boy, actually insane. I did not, I did not know that. Uh, sign shots deal 2 and C jump deals 50. Oh wow. And C jump with the two last abilities we're going to pick up becomes very strong, which we'll see later. Yep. Now we're headed into Misty Woods, which is honestly one of the coolest, if not the coolest section in the speedrun. You get to really abuse the fact that cancelling a C dash with either a stomp or a bash gives you your energy back. 
Um, and it, uh, Rain is gonna have his UI on here, so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So I can see what I'm doing as well, because we have to oh, monitor yeah, our too. energy counts <laughs> really closely. Yeah. It's just a really cool looking and fast pace section. Very satisfying movement. Also very difficult. <laughs> but so much fun. Yeah. This is definitely the thing I practiced the most just because I enjoyed it so much when yeah, I was running this. Same honestly. So oh, there is whoops. a bit of room to, to play some safety saves here for like newer or less less uh, experienced runners. But yep. Rin refuses to do that. <laughs> I've practiced it's Misty great. enough, it should be fine. I also don't go, like, I go for uh, an energy cell that's completely optional, so I can take one hit from the spikes. Right. So right there we just picked up Prime, which is really not that useful on its own, uh, but it's gonna be useful later. Especially because we have, um, we're not supposed to have charge jump in this section, which kind of trivializes a lot of the like actual platforming. Yeah, you Plus, can skip most of the rooms. At all. Yeah. All right. So. Okay, this should be the one of the easiest sections. Yeah. Some cool rocket jumps coming up. Whoops. Here's meatballs. Great. Those look so cool. And I'm here's sure some mini bus. Really? It uh, doesn't look like much. Uh, like a bus. Never mind. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there was something there when I was playing this game casually. But, oh well. Wait, you mean there was something there? I don't know. I was yeah, just I messing know. around. I was just waiting for the door to open. <laughs> so the jokes aside, that was uh, a strat known as Bang Sue. Yeah. Uh, which also has some other funny names. Um, I'm actually not super updated on that. Yeah, there's like the bang zoom zoom, and there's yeah. there's a bunch Ooh, of really silly wow. names. Like, like there's something weird. Yeah, that's. Uh wait. Okay. Weird. Misty Woods Exit is also a lot of fun in this category because you don't have to carry the orb around. The only reason why we get into Misty is because we need climb. Oh, whoops. Come on. Thanks. And now we're gonna revisit Blackfruit Burrows because there is an yet another skill that we have to get. Uh, there we get. Whoops, I forgot to save. Uh, to save anywhere. Okay, there we go. So, so a lever glitch. Yep. Uh, which you, essentially you you pull the lever and you save in that position, and the lever lever just stays in that position keeping the door open when we're going back up later. Um, a pretty important cutscene skip right there. Yeah, this cutscene is like two minutes. It's incredibly long. And then we get grenade, uh, which on its own is not very interesting, but it allows for grenade jumps. AKA um, get up less. Um, yes. a, a cool trick. It allows us to get just a little bit of speed. Just a little. Oh, whoops. Oh, that was a charge jump. There we go. That was a grenade jump. <laughs> so that's a that's a frame perfect trick where you you throw a grenade and you see jump off the wall the the following frame. And the oh, game whoops. can't really handle that and you just get a lot of speed. Yeah, the game kind of forgets to decelerate Ori. Yeah. I go waiting for the cycle here. Ow. It's not a piece of tech that we get to use that much in this category because we're coming up on the end here, pretty pretty soon. Did I just jump into spikes? I did. I did. Spikes okay. in those games are suggestions, so probably. <laughs> yeah, the hitboxes can sometimes be really weird and do whatever they want, but okay, I'm there are just couple, gonna wait this out. A couple spots in the game where we can just straight up stand on spikes because they're not. They're, yeah. There's no hitbox. <laughs> Oh no, there's a boulder! What am I gonna do? Oh wait, it's oh, fine. No. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So now we're gonna go ahead and finish the game. Uh, we have a few cool grenade jumps upcoming. I know some people wanted to see how many I could fit in one run, so... <laughs> Uh, kill this guy so it doesn't bother us. So that's one. Oh, very smooth. Sign kind of snipes that energy crystal. I love it. <laughs> Here's two. Oh wow. Very, very smooth. Those angles are pretty tight. Yeah, it's like uh, a great, two or great. three pixel window for this one, I think. Yeah. But it's pretty cool. So you might be worried about me going a lot of overestimates because uh, we just entered Mount Haru, but uh, I think like we just have to take the door to the exit, right? Oh, I got menu bug yeah. again. Nice. Oh no. <laughs> just take the door. Yeah. For some reason, a lot of casual players miss this. Just take the door. Yeah, yeah I'm not yeah. sure why. Like The door's just in front of yeah. you. Like Just take it. <laughs> Definitely not a frame perfect trick or anything. So. No. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. nope. mm -hmm. <laughs> so coming up is the final escape of the run. Um, it's really important that I do not take any damage because remember, we never completed Genzo Tree. So we still have to go through a bit of poison water. Oh, I just took damage. That's fine. We'll just do it again. There we go. Uh, oh my god, come on. That's what you get for trying to set up the, the grenade jump, huh? <laughs> but it's it's such a cool grenade jump, like... It is. You cannot tell me it's not cool. There, there we go. Is. Best grenade jump in the game right here. Uh, there's another one you can do in that room, but uh, it doesn't save any time in this category unless you're a TAS. And I am in fact not TAS. The water we're right. talking about. Gotta be careful about our health situation. Easy. Okay. And one last grenade jump here is pretty important. Yep. First try. Alright. Easy. So that was the like last. The last uh, yep. Go ahead. What you do is, is that grenade jump and it saves a ridiculous amount of time. So you kind of have to hit it. And it's a frame perfect trick. Yeah, so can be kind of and because I didn't have UI off, uh, the game just kind of uh, does Broke. things. <laughs> and so, do I need to drop a warning to your users in chat? Uh, probably, yeah. Or, yeah, just be careful. Because <laughs> upcoming is some really important trick uh, called the Nair hops. That I'm gonna. Yep. Did the game just soft lock? Wait. Wait. What? Uh. What? What on earth? I just soft locked my game. Like, what happened? But you. What? I got everything. Uh. Well, fine. I'll just go through it again. I'm not sure what that I was about. Never, never seen that. Yeah, the game just does not want to cooperate. What was that about? This grenade jump stacks two cutscenes together, but. Like, it has some weird stuff with it, but that's the first time I see this, like, ever. It's just the screen going to black after getting into the cutscene. Weird. Okay. That's fine, I'll just do the escape again. It's no big deal. Oh, wait, the Discord stream died because of this. Okay, alright, there you go. It's back on. So I get to show off more cool grenade jumps, that's fine. Oh no. Not more grenade jumps. Whee! It's so good. Okay. Gonna focus again for that fish cycle. Hopefully this time the game decides that we can continue the run. Oh god, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait. No! No, what?! I'm so mad. 
I'm not sure what that was, but okay game. Yeah, the walls in this game are kind of weird sometimes. Just blame that. Yeah. Not... It's the walls' fault. <laughs> Seriously? Oh my god. Wait. Uh, okay. It's worth noting that this escape sequence is very tightly choreographed, as I just said. <laughs> I'm just not gonna go for the grenade jumps, that's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna this wait out the cycle. Definitely... It's definitely one of the prettiest looking sections in the game, just like this escape. Yep. This like game is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And they somehow made Ori 2, which you're about to see after this, look even prettier. And even more broken, somehow. <laughs> True, somehow. Okay, should be good. There we go. A little bit early on the inputs. There we go. So hopefully the game won't softlock this time. I'm not sure what that was. It was really yeah, weird. Ask, uh, <laughs> gotta ask Lucy about that after, huh? Yeah, because like, I've never seen that happen. Alright, so I'm just gonna need all users in chat to drop their hardest Ds because we're just gonna be holding D for the rest of the run because we will be going right for 7 seconds. Time is coming up, no soft luck this time, thanks game. <laughs> when Naru passes the second tree that's in the foreground. Also some hops. Of course, I had to. And that's time. time. They lose time, but they're better, that's what matters. And that was Ori in the Blank Forest. Okay, I think this should be good. Uh, that was the last input of the run. Um, there is another run coming up, uh, I believe, uh, of Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Uh, this one's gonna be quite a bit shorter, but it's gonna be just as good. <laughs> I can probably skip this. Uh, wait, how do you skip cutscene? Okay. I do not speak German at all. <laughs> this is why you don't speak <laughs> German. <laughs> Alright. Great job, and yes, we did need that incentive for Ori and the Will of the Wisp, so... Perfect. That is, uh, that is next. So I believe, uh, I, I think I'm going to need some off time so that I can switch games. Uh, is that fine with you guys? Should be okay. Yeah, intermission. Yeah, okay.